Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com, PaintballProps.com, and uh, ElectronicLessons.com. Links below. Uh, this is a large LED button used commonly in uh, in arcades, and I'm going to show you how to put it together. Uh, there, are, there's a link below to where you can find this. Uh, I'm not um, I'm not selling these at EngineeringShark.com, but I figure a lot of people buy these, and if they need some help figuring it out. I'm happy to make a small video. Uh, in any case, this LED button is rated for 12 volts. Um, you can buy five of them, five different colors, on eBay in one listing. Uh, there is the button and LED module right here. The actual housing with the blue front uh, and blue lens. And the two mounting pieces. So first of all, let's put it together. On the top of the button, there's a little notch. There's only one notch all the way around. And you'll notice on this piece right here, on the inside, hoping you can see it, there's a notch. What you're going to want to do is gently place it on so that it only fits on one way. So that the notch lines up and that it's flush all the way around. And next you take the uh, mounting nut and you screw it on, making sure you're holding that first piece in place. Once it's tight, of course you will, you'd, you'd want to use those mounting pieces once you've mounted it into a, a fixture or whatnot. But just for the sake of keeping everything together right now, I'm going to put those two pieces on. Now, this is uh, this is the interesting part, and I actually found that you have to be you have you don't have to be rough with it, but you have to be not afraid to to use a little bit of force here. Um, notice the button, the the button right here. You'll hear the click, and notice that on both sides of the uh, the main housing that there's two white pieces and they actually move out once you press the button. What you want to do is it only fits in, in two ways. There we go. Now you'll notice of course that's not lining up properly. What you want to do and don't be afraid to use a little bit of force. Just click it in. Some Some were easier than others but now it's in and now when you press the button Um, the uh, button contacts will will uh, will obviously uh, connect together in, internally, and the button contacts are, are these two right here. So I'm going to use a multimeter to show you that when you press the button, there's continuity. These two um, pins are for the LED. So let's do a quick continuity test, and then let's light up the LED. So I'm going to set up my trusty Fluke multimeter to test for shorts, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hold both leads over these two uh, pad pads on the button and I'm not getting anything until I press the button. So now we have to talk about the LED pins. One is the anode positive and one is the cathode negative. So what I've got here is a 12 volt source connected to uh, 120 ohm current limiting LED. I, I used 470 ohms, works just as well. This is resistor is just what I had in my hand at the time of this video. So what uh, you'll see that the left side of the button, there's a red a red fixture, a red uh, stripe across, and that indicates that this is the anode, the positive. So I've just got my negative power supply, my, my ground, my DC ground connected to the uh, rightmost LED pin, and I'm going, to, I'm going to limit current using this resistor and touch to the um, to the anode. And of course you can't see anything because I've got this upside down, but as you can see right here, it looks quite nice. Uh, it's not as bright as I'd like for it to be, it probably looks brighter in the video, um, but uh, I am using the proper components for this, and I am using 12 volts. So what you can do is you can use this with a microcontroller, and you can also control the LED with the microcontrollers, assuming you have uh, a method of sh uh, shifting voltage from 5 volts to 12 volts. You can use a uh, comparator circuit. I would use an LM324 circuit, but you could also just tie this through the current limiting resistor to a 12 volt source and keep that uh, button illuminated for, uh, for the uh, duration of however long your circuit is powered up. So it's very easy and again, very easy for disassembly as well. So again, a lot of people, a lot of you would be able to figure this out relatively uh, quickly. I hope that this video helps somebody. Um, and uh, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please leave a like. It helps the channel and uh, subscribe. Uh, also check out our other videos. Check us out at paintballprops.com, engineeringshot.com, and electroniclessons.com. The link on eBay to where you can find these LED buttons is also below. Thanks for watching everyone.